Daily Devotionals for September 14th. Today's scripture reading will be Acts 28, verse 24. And some were persuaded by the things which were spoken, and some disbelieved. You know, we hear many things, and prophetically, you know, Holy Spirit is always speaking. So we need to rightly divide what we are hearing. Okay, clearly here, some were persuaded, they believed when they heard Paul speaking, and yet some disbelieved. Well, we're always going to have that. We need to be like the Bereans. We need to take what we hear, because everyone that is born again can hear the voice of the Lord. And we hear that still small voice within us, the Holy Spirit speaking to us. But when we hear others speaking, we need to take what we hear, line it up with scripture. There's a lot of, I'm going to say, fresh revelation being revealed right now. But there's also a lot of uh, things that, it's kind of like in a big melting pot. There's things swirling that's really not of the Lord, but we need to be like the Bereans. They took the word, they lined everything up with scripture, and we need to do that. We need to verify what we hear by what is written in the word. And, you know, if you, uh, even when you're reading scripture, if you don't understand it, pray and ask Holy Spirit, he wrote the book, right? It's in, by inspired men, men who were inspired and women who were inspired by the Holy Spirit. They wrote the scripture. So Holy Spirit knows what he's talking about. So if you don't understand something, pray about it, seek him, seek the understanding, seek the wisdom of the ages, and then you know what is true and what is false. I've heard many things recently, and probably not many, but some things recently that are very, very contrary to what the scripture says. I'm not rebuking the people. I'm praying for them. I'm praying, Lord, help me that I understand that I'm not off course, that what I believe your word says is true, and what I'm hearing is a fabrication of someone's mind and you know, if I am, if I am right, show me that. And if they are wrong, you know, let me see that as well, but please correct them so that they don't get so far off that they won't come back. You know, we need to be praying for our brothers also. So let's be like the Bereans and rightly divide the word. We need to be like the sons of Issachar and know the times and the seasons and like the Bereans, and rightly divide the word. We don't want to be dissuaded. We want to be persuaded by the correct word, the, the interpretation that's coming, that we may uh, go to a higher level in the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, I think of, like, the Lord couldn't reveal everything at one time, Okay, but if you go back to, um, I think it was 1513, when Martin Luther had the understanding, the revelation of the just shall live by faith. Okay, we needed that then. And there's, in this time and season, there are things being revealed that couldn't be revealed back in the 1500s. It couldn't be revealed in the 1800s. It's time for the end revelation. So let's hear what the Spirit is saying and let's uh, ask him for understanding, all right, and then be persuaded and help others to gain understanding as well. All right, till next time, be blessed.